Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug with a beginner level video on numeric expressions. So we're going to cover uh, some examples and then just some things to keep in mind as you're working with this. I might say database along the way and what I mean by that is the database engine. That's the server software, the smart part that looks at what you're typing and submitting and then performs some actions based on what you submit. So you can ask the database engine to be your calculator. So in this case, what I'm, I'm asking it to add 1 plus 2 and present it back to me in a tabular format using the select statement. And it comes back as a single row, single column. So if you're familiar with spreadsheets and how to type formulas in a spreadsheet, this is pretty similar. Some of the syntax is a little bit different, right? Uh, but an expression is something that the database engine is going to read. So in this case, this is the expression. It's going to read it, translate it, interpret it, then perform the actions that you express in the expression. So in this case, it reads a 1, and then a plus sign, and then a 2. And it interprets this as addition, so the plus sign is addition. And then it performs the addition and displays the results. So to give some names to the different parts of this expression, the plus sign in this case is the operator. So it uh, more specifically is a binary operator. In other words, there's two things that it's going to operate on. It's going to take the 1 and the 2 and it means and the you know by agreement uh, I think it should mean addition and the database engine thinks it should mean addition. So what it's going to do is add those two numbers together. So um, the uh, other parts are the 1 and the 2 so those are the operands of the operator. So the plus sign is going to operate on the thing to the left and the thing to the right. Um, also, the 1 and the 2 in this case are numeric literals. In other words, they're not code. They mean this is the value. The digit 1 means use the number 1. The digit or character 2 says mean, means use the value 2. So again, it's not a keyword, it's not a, an operator, it's a literal numeric value. So here's an example of a unary operator. In other words, it only operates on one thing, and in this case, it's the thing to the right. So here I have a literal numeric value of 5, and the 1 is, operates on the whatever, the operand to the right. And in this case, if I run it, it will present the number negative 5. So how does the database engine know what's an expression and what isn't an expression? So when I have this example, uh, I have the word select, and then a space, and then something comes after it, or I should say some white space. And so the database engine is expecting after the word select in some white space, it's expecting an expression. So expressions are mostly known in by the database, by their position in the statements. So notice that the usual order of operations is followed. So if you took algebra or you've used a spreadsheet, um, there is a precedence here. So notice that the in this case, the 2 times 6 is evaluated first and multiplied out to 12 and then the number 1 is added to it to give us 13. If I want to uh, affect that, what I can do is affect the order of operations. I can use parentheses and do the 1 plus 2 first and then multiply it by 6. So this is 3 times 6 would give me the 18. Or I could do 3 minus 1 and make sure that happens first and then divide by 2 giving me the 1. So the normal order of operations is followed as you as you might have learned in algebra or in spreadsheets. Otherwise it's left to right unless you affect the order of operations uh, by parentheses. In that case the sub expression in the parentheses are evaluated first. Um, notice also that the operators can change their meaning depending on their context. 
So in this case, uh, what I've got is an operand of 1 and 3 with a divide sign. And notice that I come up with 0. Now, why is it 0? Um, well, if I put a 1.0 and a 3.0, it is coming up with 0.333. So that's a clue that in this context with whole number operands, a whole number one and a whole number three, the division sign is interpreted as integer division because it has both integers on both sides. This is both floating point on both sides, so I get the decimal points. And when there's a mixed, um, you know, one operand is a whole number, one operator is a floating point. Basically, it up converts this to a 1.0. So it converts it to a floating point and then performs floating point division. So the context and the meaning of the division sign can mean a little bit, can uh, change depending on what the operands are. So um, here's an operator that you might not no, so uh, this is the percent, or sometimes call uh, it's a, the percent character is the modulus operator, and it gives the remainder after integer division. So notice if I say five divided by or modulus three, or modulo, sometimes people say five percent three. Um, five divided by three is one, but there's two left over, so the two is the left over, right? 8 divided by 3 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6, so there's 2 left over again. So the modulus operator gives you the left over. So if you, you think about it, if you took any number, this in this case I'm using 8, and you divide it by 3 and then multiply it back by 3, that would give me 2 times 3 is 6, and then you take the remainder it's going to come up with 8. So here's the whole number division. Here's the remainder of a whole number division. So what if your data is not a literal, right? So it's not some value. The number's coming out of the database somewhere. So here's an example of an expression. So that's the expression right there. It's a very simple expression. It just has one field name in it. But it is an expression. And the database engine ex is expecting an expression here. So what it does is it shows me for every record in the products table, it evaluates that expression. So another example would be, what if I took the units in stock column and the units on, on order column and added them together? Again, for every record in this table, it evaluates that expression and gives us the value back. And so this is just, you know, the operator is still plus. These are still the operands. It works just like we were using literals. Now what if the data type is not right for the operations I want to do? For example, here I have this select statement where I'd like the units in stock to be divided by the reorder level. Now I have to know units in stock is a whole number, 10 is a whole number, and look, I'm getting uh, the number 3. In other words, 10 goes into 39 three times, but I'm kind of expecting to get 3.9, right? Um, also, just a, a small thing, I didn't want to be uh, dividing by 0, so I've limited it. So what if I really want to see that as 3.9 rather than uh, integer division? So I'd like to see floating point division. Well, in order to do this, I have to convert that value prior to doing the division like this. So here I have uh, units in stock being converted into a real number. I'm leaving the other value uh, unchanged. It's still an integer, but it will get up converted or more accurately, it'll convert it to a more accurate number uh, when it uh, when the division is performed. So here I get the 3.9. So if you want to affect that context, you have to to and how the division sign is is interpreted, you have to convert so that one of those is a floating point number. So perhaps a more realistic example would be this one where. Uh, 
we can see that what's happening is that I, I happen to know that units in stock is a uh, integer and then unit price is a money data type. And what we're seeing is that the money, it, it, the result is a money data type. And I can actually, so I have an integer that's being up converted into a money data type and then multiplied by the other data type. And I can actually verify that this is going on by looking at the actual data types using this SQL variant property uh, function. So unit price is a money in every record. Units in stock is a small integer in every record, but the result of multiplying them together is a money for every record. So in summary, expressions are, extra are instructions for the database to create new values. They're known and detected by their location in the statements. And the, the language in there is that there are operators and operands. Some are unary, some are binary and uh, that the context of an operator can change depending on the operands. Thanks for watching.